Hey, what's up? This is Sane, doing part 2 of my Let's Play walkthrough. We're going to do the next level, the level which I can pass for the speedrun. And I got 1359, I actually had a 1301, but I, I, I rage quit because of a really bullshit glitch that happened. Chapter 2, Hideaway. It's based on a certain story. Element in the game. The bad thing about this game is when it comes to speedrunning, you're forced to watch cutscenes. You can't skip them, and that's bad, because it de de decreases the replay value. The one thing that I gave up, I'm not going to get all these humans in this game, I just absolutely quit, because of the inconsistency of certain obstacles. Because they're all physics-based, and they expect you to do um, multiple obstacles in a row that could break. And because of the physics just breaks, um... So, that was a little spoiler there, but sorry, this game likes autosave. So yeah, so, uh, I recommend doing it on co-op if you want to get gold medals. You're just gonna fucking, like, really p piss yourself off doing it on solo. Because in solo, it's like near impossible. I think co-op is just like way easier because there's another real player doing it with you. And... I think it's just way easier. So again, I'm going to try to go for a fast run here, but also enjoy the scenery as well. So it's a girl, looks like she is upset. Now it looks like a guy is chasing her or something. Maybe she's in a mental institution or something. Guy is trying to get in. I'm guessing it's a bad guy. I'm not sure. Alright, okay, this is where we take two control of our characters. You have to make two points of contact to activate an event here. If I mess up, I'm just gonna continue. This is a Let's Play walkthrough, and a Let's Play walkthrough to me is kind of like a journey with Sane. I like the really uh, effects in this game, they're really well done. I like all the models, everything is really well done, it's, it looks almost realistic, it actually looks realistic. I like the music in this game. You see what I'm saying? Like, I've been practicing. That part right there is a little sketchy. You jump. Like, I think there's like these spheres that tell you what the grab distance, right? <laughs> now we're just gonna go down. Jump over here. Switch characters. You could actually get electrocuted. I got electrocuted again. Fuck this game. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going because uh, this game sucks when it comes to that shit. You know, like I barely touched my stick and I went flying across the entire world. Like right there, you could just bounce and it's, it's fucking stupid. So I'm just gonna keep going. I don't care because I'm just done with this game. Like just certain stuff like that. That was totally my fault. Reason why I messed up, but the game physics will like break. And uh, yeah. So you're just forced to watch cutscenes. Stupid. I think it's pretty stupid for speedrunning purposes. But for the game itself, it's fine. Like, I don't care. And uh, these are like flaming cockroaches, I guess you gotta dodge. And for some reason on PS4, the, the enemies move differently. It's I watched the walkthrough. Right, that's a risky move. Don't try to do that. If you're 
I'm just trying to do the speedrun path to show you how bullshit it is. Already screwed up. Like I already would have already would have failed. So I think I lost too much time. Like I would probably would want to remake a trials level out of this. I'm not sure. Probably wait till the new trials game. It's just like it's just it's just really aggravating that you know there's like you, like first of all you could make a mistake like I made me falling through electricity that was my fault. Uh, <coughs> sneeze. You know, so like I definitely practice it. This part right here is the worst. Because it's just, I don't know what it is, it's like so terribly timed. Like, you can get here so perfectly, and the sprinkler systems will literally don't work properly. I don't know what it is, like, they just the spawning for them, and the timing is just completely broken. Just a note. That's why the game is just not, it's not good for speedrunning, because it's just so inconsistent, some of the parts. The air jump works there, and then, like, I'm gonna do, like, obviously for this level, I'm gonna do most of the strats, because I was trying to speedrun it. Right? So, like... This normal... Oh, my goodness. Another, again, an unresponsive control right there. It's just, it just happens. Like, I'm pressing the buttons, and they just don't register properly. I don't know if this is like an Xbox thing or like, because I've seen people playing it on PlayStation. It works just fine. Again, again with the glitch, dude. I didn't even touch it, dude. I just, I don't even care no more. Like, I, I totally don't care. Like right here, you have to go all the way down because if you don't, uh, you'll actually get stuck there forever. Because for, it's cause physics based, as I said, it's bad. And then right here, I usually just let go of my player and, like, tie a knot. I don't know if it actually tied a knot, but... <sighs> Can I tie a knot? Can I tie a knot? Thank you. For, like, the 50th fucking time. Um, just bring it like this. And then you have to wait two seconds for the rope to collect, because you won't be able to make the jump for some damn reason. So that's why there's just, it's just too many glitches, like way too many bugs. And it just completely screws over your speed run. That's why I can't handle it, dude. And then the, the fact is you can mess up at any time and have to rewatch a five minute cutscene in the beginning. It's just bad. And right here, these things can glitch out of control and fall through the world. I don't know why it happens. Like, it happened to me once. And this is very inconsistent, this part. I've, like, screwed it up so many times. No idea why. I was literally pressing the right buttons. Like, I'm not gonna get the time. It's already screwed up, like, tremendously. And there's like this invisible freaking rock here. Like I don't even understand why there's an invisible rock there. Like some parts of this game should be should have been made better. It's like they rushed this game or something. Like I don't understand. Like you just shouldn't do that with production stuff. You know what I mean? The game's visuals are great. Uh when it comes to speedrunning, this game is awful, god awful. It's bad. And it, it shouldn't it shouldn't have been a thing. Like well, at least, like, decrease the time for the inconsistency of the different obstacles. Or, like, at least, like, correct the consistency of the obstacles before making, like, a final business decision, because that's just bad. 
Again. AGAIN! I fucking hate this game. Oh, this game is so bad. Inconsistency again. Like, a mistake happened. It was not totally my fault. I, I, oh, my goodness. And, uh, and then there's physics applied. Up. It's so bad. It's so bad, dude. I hate it. I fucking hate this game. And like the first game's physics was so much better. So much better. Like I don't know who like made this game. So god awful. Like I don't well, why does the game have a sequel? Like I don't understand. The first game was so good. I don't understand like certain sequels to games. Sorry. But I just this is how I feel. You have to respect my opinion and take the feedback. Because that's just, just terrible, dude. And right here, you can actually drown for some fucking reason. Like, I'm trying to link the players together and the game's not registering again. Um, so I, I'm just telling you all these fucking glitches, dude. The latter part right here is the worst part coming up. It's a literally fucking really bad. Like, it's just, like, they, the physics just break. And it's, like, really, 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 really bad. I'm gonna try to do it on my first try again. The physics broke again. I'm just gonna go left, right, left, control it. And it just doesn't work. Wow, dude, again. Let's do it again. It's just like it, it, like you have to have maximum momentum, but the momentum breaks because the physics of the game just breaks. So bad. Like I tried it so many times to see if it was my fault, but it's the game's fault. It's just so fucking badly done, dude. I can't. I'm not. I refuse to go for gold medal. Like fuck gold medals, dude. Like I, I rather, I'd I'll, I'll, I'll rather die than to go for gold medals. To tell you the truth. Because, you know, gold medals are just fucking really bad. Really badly designed. I refuse to ever do it again. It's, it's, it's so bad. That's just the toxicity of the fucking game. Like, everything else is fine. Just the gold, the going for the gold medals ruins the game literally ruins the game like it should be an option to fucking speedrun games not a forced it's just bad it's like trials of the blood dragon this game is literally worse than trials of the blood dragon i rather play trials of the blood dragon and i have 100 percent of trials of the blood dragon and that game's god awful so like just tells you a lot Okay. Oh my goodness. And here, if you fuck up that part, you have to restart the. Okay, I tell you, you have to restart the entire part again. Just tired of these fucking random ass glitches happening to me. Like I have pretty much just stopped caring at this point, you know, because. And then this part right here is the, the one of the worst parts. Like it's literally this bad. I could have died there, but I didn't. I got super fucking lucky. So, aside from that, the game's great. Um, and yeah. Again, again, the physics, man. I didn't touch my controller. Fuck, dude. It's so bad. Badly designed, like, I don't understand. 
Like, it's just like these little tiny input glitches that happen. And even if you make a rope bridge, it doesn't matter because you could still die from the fucking, like, because you, you jump too high and you go, the string bends and you still get electrocuted. It's so fucking terrible. Like, I am not going for gold medals in this game. Like, they're literally fucking cancerous. Like, it's just really badly designed. Oh my goodness, dude. I did the best, most perfect jump, and now it just works. I, I just, I'm done. This game sucks. The physics are just broken. Can I just climb up? Like, I'm holding L trigger for a reason. Game, thank you. Fuck, dude. It's just so... I'm not going for gold medals. In games that are super inconsistent. No. There are way better things in my life that I could do. Just a gold medal this game. Sorry. Unravel team. You just fucked up Coldwood. Fucked up majorly hardcore. What a really, really terribly designed level. For when it comes to speedrunning. Everything else is fine. There's just too many things to fuck up in. You know, there's certain games that take skill, and but there's no speedrun achievements. It just pisses me off when there's games that are just inconsistent like this game. There's just like really bad speedruns. You know, that's my opinion of this game. It will drastically change the rating of this game because of the, the metal run times. You know, this game may get a 5 out of 10. You know, so the rest of the game's got to be really good. So if I gave the first game a 7 out of 10, so... That was the second level, guys. That's the end of my Let's Play walk I'm sorry it was a rant, but I had to tell you how bad speedrunning is in this game. Literally. It's literally the worst. You should never attempt it unless you have a co-partner. I'm Sin Legend, and I'm out.